Well, the first thing that comes to mind is the additional hours. The four fuel tanks is huge. And not having to potentially carry a centerline uh, drop tank uh, to basically reduce drag on the aircraft, uh, that would be a welcome addition to the C4M. The 9,000 hour life is really the, you know, the big one, right? Because that means that you have an advanced airframe that can actually last through some of these combat deployments. As a Squadron XO, uh, I'm monitoring the life and uh, the lifespan of all of our aircraft. And then we're starting to reach pretty close to that 6,000 hour limit. Even this past deployment, we're putting you know, quite a few hours on the jets just flying constant sorties. We're looking forward to the SLEP program that'll, that'll extend the life, but when they come off the line at 9,000 hours, that's going to immediately take the stress off of long-term planning for the aircraft and, and managing our depot level maintenance and other uh, long-term maintenance. The next thing that as a pilot that I really will enjoy is the additional fuel. Um, that'll extend my range even further. It'll reduce the necessity to have as many external fuel tanks as we sometimes configure for, for certain long-range missions uh, and, and allow me to add an extra weapon or uh, reduce uh, my drag. You know, when you take the drop tank off of this, the centerline fuel tank, it becomes an absolute animal. Uh, you know, down low, it's just absolutely vicious to fight. While Superman has multiple capabilities, uh, increased range uh, without a sacrificing payload will be a welcome addition to the capabilities. The cockpit displays is the other big thing. You look at some of the more advanced systems now, the ability to change what your cockpit displays look like and having a reliable touchscreen, that'd be, be nice to have.